I was known as Josh's little brother my whole freshman year. Thank God! I didn't fall face first. Hello and welcome back to Fikir Fitness TV. I'm your host, Daniel Fikir, founder and CEO of Fikir Fitness. And today, guys, you're gonna see a quick vegan recipe that you can use with guacamole and sweet potato fries. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm not gonna hold you too long. Let's get right into it. So for our breakfast smoothies in the morning, as you guys know, we already have chia seeds, which is high in fiber and can help to lower high blood pressure. It's a good source to put in. Um, we normally put in, as you guys know, flax seeds. Um, this is high in omega-3. It can also help against protect against certain cancers. But we now started adding in pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds is a good source of magnesium, protein, iron, and zinc. Um, you know, as far as for Steph with having a, a iron deficiency, we now added this in to kind of help to kind of um, boost that as well with the iron pills that she's taking. You always want to make sure and look, if you're suffering from any type of illness or even a common cold, there is actual foods that can help to reverse or fight off infections. So always look because there's always a holistic route. I mean, still go with what your doctors recommend. That's very important. But like the medicines that they're giving you, it all comes from the source of the ground. So if it's available, you can find it. So I, I always try to look for if I'm fighting off cold infection, things that are high in immune boosting. Um, anything that you you're might be suffering from, just look, Google. I mean, there's so many like doctors, actual doctors who went the holistic route and found that there are alternatives, natural ways of fighting off the certain things that you might be having. So always look around because I promise you there's always something good. So for those of you who might have like, you know, iron deficiency, try adding in pumpkin seeds to your normal daily diet. It's really good as well. Still do your iron pills and whatever your doctor recommends. And now that breakfast is done, let's go work on a yard. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day. Thank you so much for your grace, your mercy, and your love. Thank you for your care and your kindness. Thank you for allowing me to be able to see a new day. Thank you for allowing the, the, the garden to get clean, the yard to be clean, Lord God. Thank you for giving me the energy to do so. Thank you for this wonderful meal that you have prepared. Let it be of only nourishment to our bodies. Anything that is bad, please remove it, oh God. Anything that is good, let it be plentiful. We pray for healing, health, wholeness, and wellness in the name of Jesus. Healing, health, wholeness, and wellness in the name of Jesus. Healing, health, wholeness, and wellness in the name of Jesus. And healing, health, wholeness, and wellness in the name of Jesus. We love you, God. We praise you. We glorify you. in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. So this is what we're having for lunch today. This is Steph's mom's recipe for her soup. And we also have a salad on the side, just a regular soup and salad for lunch. Um, something where it's hot and cold, getting all of my nutrients and vitamins jam-packed in here. Really excited to eat. Uh, anything where it comes to outdoor work, I'm always just like, oh, I just need food. I just need to go ahead and get as much calories in my body as possible. I don't know how you guys are. I like to normally start off with the salad before I go into the soup. Because going from hot to cold is always weird to me for some reason. I don't know. Anywho, um, just wanted to kind of use this as a story time. You guys always see me wearing as far as Fikir Fitness, you know, not only is it my last name, for those who know my story, you guys know my fight, my battle of lupus, but I also wanted to kind of give you a little bit more detail of like, you know, why Fikir Fitness was birthed. And who may not know, I am the youngest of four in my family. So I have um, two older brothers and an older sister. Amazing, like I cannot thank God enough for my parents and my, my older siblings. They truly are like those who are cheerleaders. I know people grow up in family like where their older siblings are terrorists. I was blessed and fortunate, probably because I'm the youngest, everyone loved me. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But, <laughs> but I love my family. Like there's nothing I would trade anyone in the world for each one of my family members. Mm. 
Oh, this is really good, by the way. So, um, in that, being the, the youngest of four, um, my older siblings, they were always like rock stars. When it came to school works, they were A's and B's on a roll. And not only that, they were blessed with the, um, with the talent of being uh, uh, athletic. My sister was in the step team. I believe she was the captain of the step team. My oldest brother, Elijah, he was um, the captain of the wrestling team as well as the captain of his football team. And my brother who's closest to age of me, Pastor Josh, as you guys know him, uh, he also was a track star, football player star. Like they were all Americans, all of my siblings. So when it came to me, I went to the same high school as my brother's closest to me, Josh. And it was one of those things where you know how you're predestined. Like the coaches, once they saw my last name, and you guys know my last name, Fakir, it's it's one of those things where it's like a dime a dozen. So when you see it, you automatically know, are you Josh's little brother? I was known as Josh's little brother my whole freshman year. Um, funny story, I actually didn't really get a chance to know my classmates as well, my peers, because I was always hanging out with the older crowd. I was always with the juniors and the seniors because they knew me as little Josh's brother. And Josh told him, hey, my brother comes here, watch out for him. In lunchtime, I was chilling with them before school, after school, plus one of my closest friends, you guys know him as Wes. He was a junior at the time, so I was hanging out with him and his friends as well. So it wasn't until the upperclassmen graduated, then I was like, oh, hey, we're in the same grade, let's become friends. So <laughs> I really didn't have that opportunity of like meeting my own peers until maybe like junior year. And that's when I built my own relationship and built my own name. And like, um, it was one of those things where you kind of feel peer pressure because you know your brother is known as the star athlete, all these things, all these accolades, you feel like you have to fill in those shoes. So I really didn't start making a name for myself until, like I said, until my junior year, my senior year. That's when I really started to excel and be well in these sports. And rather as little Josh's brother, I was known as Daniel. That's when my name was created and I, I mean, not to say that I didn't like the little Josh name because I love everything that came with it. It was like, you know, winning a championship without doing the work. I was already known as this. People already like loved me. I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll ride on his coattail as long as I can. So, <laughs> so it was really wonderful. But it was, I got to admit, when I finally started like, you know, becoming myself, I really loved that. Like I really being, I love like knowing as just Daniel. Hey, this is just Daniel. So um, when it came to like, you know, fitness, like I was always one of those people. And again, this comes from like my older siblings. Like my oldest brother, I, I don't remember how many years apart we are, but when we used to play sports or we used to go running or anything like that, he treated me like I was his age. So if we're playing tackle, I'm running for my life, like David and Goliath. And like, he's over here having fun. Like, ah, and I'm like crying tears coming down my face. Of course, you know, this is all fun and love. He would never actually like hurt me or anything like that. But just the terror of me being like, what, three foot something, him being six foot something, and somebody's chasing you while you have the ball. I would throw the ball and just keep running. <laughs> but what I love the most as far as for that experience, as far as growing up with them, they taught me the importance of like, you know, not looking at the size of the man, but like, you know, really looking at the size of your heart. Because now, like, after playing against my brother, going against people my own age, I was like, ha, you're nothing. Like, <laughs> not to be, like, egotistical, but, like, it was understanding, like, hey, it doesn't matter how big or small you are. If you're someone who I believe, like, you know, has the heart to go out there and play, I'll pick you. So those people who normally were getting picked last in the, in the games, I would pick them first. Because I'm not like, hey, you know, this person and, you know, the other competitors, they would laugh, like, oh, you're choosing this person? But... For some reason, whenever you did that, it ignites something in that person. And rather than them doing like how they normally would, like in a game where they don't really care, they would play extra hard. They would do even better. And the opposing team, like they won't even look at them as a mark. So you throwing the ball to them, you kicking the ball to them, you like, you know, like anything, they would just excel. And they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't know they had this in them. I, I always could relate to like the younger guys. I always could relate to the ones who were, you know, shadow cast. So like, I always had something for me in that and I still do that even now when it comes to health and fitness. I train from all eight, like whether if you're a beginner just learning how to do a push up or if you're extremely advanced, you're running marathons, you're doing um, obstacle course races. I've trained them all, uh, professional fighters and I never really look at like, oh man, you're elite, you're doing great. This is like, you know, what I love to train most. I always look at the heart. So somebody can give me a, like, you know, 100 push ups 
If I know they only gave me 50% compared to that one person who only did two, but gave me everything they had, I would always rock with that person that gave me that too. Because I'm like, yo, you're giving everything you can, you're giving your all. So I love like, you know, the opportunity of being able to be a trainer and showing like, you know, compassion to these people who are normally overlooked. Like those who people kind of walk past when they're in the gym, I'm the one that's looking towards them and be like, hey, what can I do? How can I help? Hey, this is hard. Let's find modifications. I'm not going to try to kill you at the gym. I'm not going to ask you, hey, dude, give me 25, like, you know, pull ups, give me 25 chin ups. No, let's start where you are and let's build it from there. I was, again, because I walked in those shoes, I had to like grow up quickly. Again, with my brother being as great as he was, I had to learn so much like faster than what other people would. And that was hard. That was really hard. Like, I'm not gonna say it was, e it was not, e it was hard. But one thing I always knew, I would never give up. Again, I was that person while everybody else is doing like, you know, 100 wind sprints and they're going down and forth, like out of 10 people, I would come in maybe eight, seven. But like the coaches recognize, hey, this person has potential, so they'll keep pushing me until I was eventually the one coming first. And even the one coming first, I would root for that person coming in 10, like, yo, you did an amazing job today. Let's push harder. Tomorrow you come in nine. Tomorrow you come in eight. So I always want to be that person that's like, you know, not overlooking the crowd, but giving like they're all. So uh, that's just a little bit of my back end and my story and why, like, you know, when it comes to the care fitness, I wear it proudly because I'm looking out for the underdogs. I want them to go all the way. I want them to be the ones that are the future, you know, potential of the, the all-stars, the, the elite. So I just want people to be the best that they possibly can be without having to feel like you have to be at this status. No, if you're at your peak performance, if you're doing what you can to the, to the, absolute, like, to the absolute best, that's all that matters. You just wanna beat yourself. The only competition you have is you. Go against yourself every single day. Look at yourself only as, hey, I did this today. Let's see if I can do a little bit more tomorrow. That's all that matters. And you'll see before the end of it, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, look how far I came. I'm gonna dig into this salad and this uh, soup before it gets cold. Hey, thank you for listening to my story time. Mm. So you guys just saw for lunch we had was the soup and salad. I even had a little snack after that, which was pistachios and tangerines. That's one of my favorite go-tos. Um, right now, I still feel a little bit peckish. So I'm actually gonna make some sweet potato fries. So you guys can see, got some huge ones here. Uh, just gonna cut them up and place them into the oven. Put it for about 30 minutes. I'll show you the ingredients I'm gonna put on for seasoning. It's a quick and easy meal that you can have if you kind of like, you know, want something that, that's carb high. For myself, I eat a lot throughout the day, like a lot throughout the day. And that's because I'm a foodie. I love food. So I always try to choose and make sure even though I'm, I'm eating, it's gonna be something that is gonna help and benefit with my progression as far as from my fitness journey. So you always wanna kinda, I don't wanna say necessarily keep a count of your macros. You can if you like. There are so many websites that show now as far as macro calculators, that's your macronutrient calculators, to help you in reaching your fitness goals. Macronutrients, you guys know, that's your protein, your carbs, and your fat. And you just wanna kinda keep an idea of that. You never wanna fall too low, that would be caloric deficit, where you're not reaching your goal, but you don't wanna go over as well. Because overeating, again, you know that's gonna lead to. So you always wanna be right in that soft area there, right in that cushion area. So I'm eating this because again, I'm not trying to necessarily bulk, but I do wanna maintain. And for someone like me who has a fast metabolism, I have to eat a lot or I'll shrink and lose everything. So here we go. This is gonna be right here, the sweet potatoes and voila. So here we have it. This is now all the sweet potatoes. Oh, I thought that went away. All cut up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and start putting them into the basket. So this is where you guys are gonna see me. I'm gonna put in all the ingredients, the seasoning, just to kind of let it all mix in together. Before I do that, what I do is I normally coat it with olive oil. Um, I don't put much, like maybe just like a, a cap or two full, just so that way you can get onto the skin and it makes it easier for the seasoning to stick on. them in. So as I'm seasoning these up, I have the oven right now preheating to 400. So what I normally do is I'll season everything up, I'll put it into the oven for about 15, 20 minutes, and then from there I'll flip it and put it for another 10, 15 minutes, all depending 
like how you like it. If you like extra crispy or if you just like it kind of soft, Steph and I love the extra crispy, so we always put it a little bit longer than what the time may say. So starting off, just gonna put a little bit of olive oil. This is extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. We're gonna add in some paprika, just to give it a little bit of a spice to it. Also gonna be putting in just a tad of chili powder. Now that's just to kind of give it a little bit of that sweetness taste. Don't have to add these ingredients, you can put whichever you might like. Um, definitely gonna be adding in some garlic powder. You know Steph, she loves garlic. And then we have our normal, which is the salt and pepper that we're also gonna be putting in. I don't put much, maybe about like a teaspoon, like a, like a yeah, just about a teaspoon of each into it. Um, let's go right in. So God had reminded me, glory to Jesus, it is not chili powder you're supposed to put in, but chipotle powder. So I almost made that mistake and put in the wrong seasoning and that would have been horrendous. So you wanna put chipotle powder in there, again, about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, whatever that's comfortable for you. And that's really where it'll be hitting. So while waiting for the sweet potato fries to finish up, I had thought to myself, Danny, talking to them about the macros, are you getting any anything else other than carbs? It's like, let me put some fat in here. So I'm gonna put some good fat. What I'm gonna make right now, it's a quick meal. It's a tortilla wrap with guacamole spread. So I'm gonna quickly whip up guacamole. As you know, you need your signature avocado. I'm gonna put in some garlic, a little bit of lemon juice, and also an onion. Just chop them up finely, place it in, put the avocado, smash it all together, and there you go. Very simple to make and I have a tortilla that I'm just gonna warm up for about 45 seconds. So this will go with the uh, sweet potato french fries. Very simple to make, let's get right into it. and it's done and you guys saw that took no more than like what 30 minutes this is a quick snack that you can have and just enjoy before dinner comes around all right guys thank god i didn't fall face first what was that huh what was that what do you mean that fell the avocado oh but it fell on its butt so it didn't touch the floor praise god no yeah, oh, thank god <laughs> I wouldn't put it in if it just before. Steph is right now making our second dose of avocado. A smoothie. Oh, smoothie. A smoothie. Yeah, we um, are getting our labs done next week. So even though we really should be doing two smoothies a day just normally, we don't. <laughs> I'm trying though. I'm trying. Every every week i'm like this is the week where we're gonna get back to doing two smoothies a day um because it's just really good for you so it's better than a nighttime snack to just do this but it's just a lot but now that we food prep it's not as much work now this takes 10 minutes to make whereas it used to take 30 minutes so our second smoothie so we're hoping to do two smoothies a day from now until 
Well, hopefully we'll continue. But at least until next Tuesday, because our lads are Wednesday morning. For me, I'm praying for a normal hemoglobin. In the name of Jesus. For Danny, we're praying for normal everything. <laughs> Right now we're using purified Publix water for these because this has been a shortage of alkaline water. It's kind of crazy. So, but we're grateful for water. Praise God for clean water. Not everybody has it. Um, did I miss anything in here? I don't think so. Flax seed, pumpkin seed, chia seeds. Got all that. Avocado, turmeric, hot pepper. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for these healing smoothies you've given us, Lord. Thank you so much. Please let them be only your nourishment for our bodies, Father God. Anything bad, please remove it in the name of Jesus, Lord. Anything good, please let it be plentiful. Thank you for the ingredients. We pray healing, health, wholeness, wellness, name of Jesus. 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 And healing, health, wholeness, wellness, name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I love you. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for Bible study. You beautiful, precious, and holy name. I pray. Amen. So, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with Danny today on this vlog. Um, we always like to end the videos with an opportunity to know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. So if you've been feeling in your heart that you want to have a relationship with Jesus, but you're just not quite sure how to do it, John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So having a relationship with Jesus means believing in him. That's where the relationship begins. So if you want to make that decision to declare your belief in Jesus and what he did for you on the cross, say this prayer with me. You're going to say, Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you rose again. I believe that you rose again. Today, I believe in you as my personal Lord and Savior. Today, I believe in you as my personal Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. If you said that prayer, welcome to the kingdom. Angels are literally celebrating you right now. Your name has been written in the book of life. Nobody can ever take it out. Get into a virtual Bible-based church in your area and get started reading the word of God. And so for all of you OGs who are here, thank you so much for supporting my husband's channel and his ministry and what he's doing for the Lord with health and fitness. I truly believe there's a revolution right now happening in the body of Christ where, you know, the word of God says his people perish for a lack of knowledge. And we are his people. We're his church. We're his body. And the healing is in the food. So the more of us as believers who learn this information and go and share, the more we can transform and revolutionize the entire body of church. We don't have to be dealing with sickness and disease. We don't have to be dealing with that. We can have healing right now just by going to God's food. So thank you for being here, supporting Danny's channel as he works to get that message out. If you're not already subscribed, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, share, please, because as Danny always says, it gets the algorithm to recognize his channels and to push them out to more people. Our goal is to revolutionize how the church sees food because that's where the healing is. God already sent it. We love you guys. God bless you. Peace.